I'm on one of 70 or so islands that make up the Whitsundays, one of Australia's most popular tourism regions. This is Lindemann Island and it's the oldest resort destination in this part of Australia, with a fascinating history all its own. Let's take a closer look. Stretching 2,000 kilometres through the warm waters along the state of Queensland, Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the most extensive coral system in the world and the planet's largest World Heritage Area. At the southern end of the reef you'll find the 73 Whitsunday Islands, a large cluster of coral caves and mountainous retreats. The best way to see it all is from the air. Besides cruising your way through the Whitsundays, you can also go island hopping in one of these, a Britain Norman Islander. Now, Russell, you've been flying through the Whitsundays for some time now. Yes, about seven years. Yes, and you got that right. It's the Britain Norman Islander. Oh, good. It took yeah. me a bit of practice. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> What's the special appeal of flying through this area? Just the scenic beauty of the whole area, I think. Uh, the Whitsunday Islands are 73 in all, I believe. Um, just so beautiful. Yeah, the reef must be incredible from up high. The proximity of the reef as well, yes. I think from here it's about 70 kilometres to the reef. So how mm. exciting is it landing on some of these small islands? Quite exciting at times. Uh, some of the passengers will testify, but uh, generally it's pretty mundane. So you'd yeah. recommend this is an ideal way to, uh, to go island hopping? Oh, I would, yes. Yes, uh, the scenery from above is just so beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm convinced. It looks like, yeah. Russell, you and I are going places. All right. Yeah. Off we go. Let's get on our way. Venturing into the Wet Sundays, whether it's by air or sea, usually includes a trip to Lindemann Island. A national park, the island is allowed only one resort. Club Med opened here in 1993 and has become one of the most visited tourist destinations in the Wet Sundays. Built on a hillside and surrounded by gardens, the resort has an open air design with very relaxed surroundings. I was here to take a splash in the subtropical water. Back on shore, the blue expanse provides a spectacular backdrop as you tee off. This would have to be one of the most picturesque courses I've ever had the opportunity to play. The only trouble is, after my last couple of swings, I'm now going to have to go fishing. But holiday makers also come here for this, wildlife and the island's nature trails. The resort sits in a protected region that's carefully maintained. This whole area of Australia is a World Heritage Site. The protection doesn't just include the reef, it extends to the islands and all the wildlife on shore. Here on Lindemann alone, you'll find at least 90 different species of birds. So time to go exploring. Besides um, looking after the beaches and the waterways around us, um, we maintain all the walking tracks, um, clean the beaches when they need to be cleaned, inspect the place. Um, we just generally make sure that people don't use and abuse it. Um, so that for, for the people who are coming to, back to the island to visit us and for our future generations. We'd like to care for the environment and we'd like to protect it and 
show everybody how we should live in harmony with nature. The resort rangers ensure that what can't be reused or recycled is properly disposed of or just shipped off the island. The oldest resort island in Queensland and one of the first in Australia, Lindemann Island was established as a holiday retreat by a man called Angus Nicholson in 1923 who secured a lease with the government. It was continued by his son Lachlan who brought his bride here after the Second World War. Now in her 80s, Thora still lives in the house her husband built and all her descendants can reside here as long as they wish. She's part of the family. She, uh, we look after her as much as we can. We talk to her all the time. Britain's Princess Alexandra travelled here before her royal marriage in 1959. And a year later, Australians Ron and Olive Holtzworth journeyed here on their honeymoon and then back for their anniversary 37 years later. And yes, they still feel the same way about each other. I think we do. I think yes, we do. I haven't been able to find anybody better. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you just visit for a while or are lucky enough to live here, Lindemann is a true island paradise. I wake up with a smile on my face. <laughs> it's not difficult to see why. <laughs>